In this video, we look at how your children can create a 3D maze game and enter the 2020 3D game competition. The first thing to do is to decide on the theme of your game. Here are some ideas that we think might work perfectly for an interactive fun game. The next thing to do is to find the tool 2DIY 3D so you can start your game. It can be found here on the tools area. Scroll down to the quiz and game creation section and here is 2DIY 3D. There are some guide videos here that will help you in creating your game and some showcase games that have been created by other pupils as examples of what you could create. When you're ready to begin creating, click on 2DIY 3D and you're ready to start. There are two options here when you start a new game. You can either design a simple game which just has one level and a selection of simple options for the walls and the ceilings. If you want to make your maze game more complicated and more fun, use this level here, which allows you to create multiple levels, up to five levels in your game. The first level of my game here, I'm going to create around the theme Ancient Greeks. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the walls into my maze. If I double click on this wall icon here, it will open it up into the separate screen and I can either draw my walls or I can use the clip art option here to use some of the built-in images. I'm going to use this icon here as my walls and click OK. I'm now going to add my walls into my maze. I'm going to add some scenery into my maze and click on this icon here. Again, I can use the clip art. I'm going to choose this jug icon and pop some ancient Grecian jugs in my maze. I can add some water into my maze and change the color of it. Water slows you down when you are walking through the maze. I can also add some fire. Again, change the color of my fire. I can edit the ground, the ceiling, and the sky options here. And underneath here, there are other things that I can add into my scene. I can choose the lighting. Let's make it brightly lit. I'm going to make my walls a little bit higher. This is where I can add some background music that will play when I'm walking through my maze game. I can choose some of the built-in sounds that I can preview by clicking on these green play buttons or I can open a sound file that I might have already created in Purple Mash. I'm going to choose this chimes option. I'm now going to decide what my ground will look like, what my ceiling will look like and what my sky will look like. Let's choose this one here, cloudy sky. Now I need to add some good guys and some bad guys that I want to avoid. So first of all, I'm going to drag some good guys in here. I'm going to click on that edit pencil. I don't want my good guy to be a gold coin. I want it to be a different icon. So I'm going to click on the clip art icon here and add in a treasure chest. And this is where I get to decide how my treasure will move. Will it move around randomly in the maze? What will its action be? It's going to walk. And that's the sound effect. And if I collect one of those treasure chests, I'm going to give it two points. If I want to copy all of those options that I have edited there onto all of the good guys, I click on this button here that says copy to all. And now all of these treasure chests can be placed in my maze. Now I'm going to add some bad guys in here. And again, I want to change the image on this bad guy and I'm going to turn him into a minotaur. There is the image of the minotaur. And again, I can decide what its movement will be. Now, again, if I want to copy all of those options to all my bad guys, I click this copy to all button and then all my minor tours are the same. Before I can play this game, I need to add instructions onto my instruction screen. So I click on this I button at the top here and I can give it a title and add my instructions into this area here. You can also record your instructions by clicking on this speaker icon and clicking the record button at the bottom. You can change how many lives your players will have, how long you give them to play the game, what their game over sound and what their level completed sound will be. If I click OK and play my game, and I can then play my game. So I've added level one in my game. If you want to get really clever and add level two, click on this button on the right here and you can design level two with a different theme perhaps. It's up to you. If you want a little bit of extra help on how to create your game, you can watch the videos here next to the exit button. There are videos on how to create your game, how to customize it, 
how to add different levels, adding instruction, and what the additional options are. Once you have completed your amazing 3D game, make sure you save it using the drop down menu and selecting the save option. You can give it a file name and save it in your private My Work folder. If you'd like to enter your game into our competition, use the drop down menu, select the share option, and share it to one of our display boards. If you've created this game all on your own without any help from your family members or your classmates, then select this option here, the individual entry display board. If you have created this game with help from your family, then you can select and enter it into this display board here. And if you've created this game with your classmates from your school, then you can add it to this display board here. I'm going to add it to this family entry display board and click OK. My work has now been shared onto that and that will grey out to tell me that that's been shared already. The staff at Two Simple Purple Mash will be judging the very best entries, so good luck!